don't know. <laughs> don't even know. This, it's so kind of you to not have made up something about our show to see if wow. I would agree to it. Because mm. I would probably go, oh, yeah, that's great. We'll see. Get ready, get ready for the night. We'll Three, two. <laughs> Welcome to Florida Men on Florida Man with Josh Mills and Wayne McCarty. The podcast where Floridians discuss the legends and lore and crazy stories that always seem to take place in Florida. Florida. We have a returner wow, tonight. Uh, name rhymes with <laughs> Bamie Timmons. How are you, sir? Huh. I'm great. I, can we go with that for not, the rest of the night? Bamie, Bamie Timmons? Yeah. 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 Jamie Clemens, I got in trouble oh, one time because nope. I spelled your last <laughs> name wrong. Cannot, yeah. You remember that? Everybody Clemons? spells it wrong. I sent you a calendar invite. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then you sh- like in a group chat. You're like, "Can you please spell my last name?" We correctly? just thought you were. Yeah, I worked for it. Roger yeah. Clemens heir. Right. The S- baseball. Well, that's spelled the same. And Samuel Clemens. Who's Big that? Fan, yeah, the I'm related guy. to Mark Twain. Why does that got to do anything? Oh, no, it's just a plug. You haven't read anything he's written, right? Not recently. Come You're related on. to a racist. <laughs> what's What's the most recent thing he's written? Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to. Yeah, you're thinking, you of, you're thinking of Mark Twain. I did watch right. a documentary yeah. recently, Twain. Yeah. though, about um, uh, Andrew the Great. Oh, my kids watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Before we went live, Jamie was uh, show shaming. Yeah, he was. Um, as I do. Yeah. What did? You, what was it that you watched, uh, Josh? That that Jamie made fun of? Avatar, the cartoon, which is actually very violent. Kids shouldn't be watching that. Thank you. Yeah, my kids Appa. watch it. Yeah. Appa, he's a sky bison. Not, you guys wouldn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like you just spoke in tongues. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anything you said. <laughs> who stole my Honda? Yeah. Well, Appa, the sky bison. Yeah. Right. Um, not not <laughs> Jamie, what's new, though, man? Because we, we haven't seen you in, I don't know, like six, seven, eight weeks. Came back from spring break. Okay. Where'd we you had go? one of those. We did um, uh, Orlando, where we did. Wow, it's very close. Yeah. yeah. We traveled the distance to Orlando. Well, with traffic, though, it is like a six hour journey. At least. Yeah. And we did, uh, we did Medieval Times and uh, Wonder House. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the upside down the building. The upside down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. News Optical flash. Illusions. <laughs> okay. It's not upside down. When you Wait, go inside, what do you it's, mean? Right, it's right side up. I'm sorry. Uh, they don't have an anti gravity machine? Mm-mm. No. Never. Huh. Since COVID, they turn it off. What's the charge for something like that? How much did you spend all together in your family? Mm. Yeah, and did it? <laughs> I'm trying did, to come up with a number. And did it hurt? <laughs> and did it One hurt million you dollars, or, or was it like a drop in the bucket? Uh, Financially, you know, everything hurts. Yep, yep. Money Which, under walking. Biden's economy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in this America, COVID yeah. vaccines. Yeah, but then we did a St. Augustine. After that, did some ghost. Oh. Uh, did a ghost tour. That's so cool. And I think we caught some ghosts on our cameras. Okay, go cool. on. Yeah. No, that was it. Oh. Our friend uh, right. Christian Sutterworth is one of the best photographers in the nation, statistically. And he said that <laughs> yeah. every ghost that's caught on camera, well, uh, he can duplicate that uh, in a film lab. Unless it's holy. He, he was referring to the holy ghost on the episode. I actually. don't know if he said any of that, actually. I think he just said that he was able to make a ghost effect with Photoshop. Oh, it's a preset. Uh, or uh, yeah. when someone calls you and you don't call them back. What's that called? Ghost man. Ing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a little game. Okay, um, we're gonna do a, a little competition between the two of you, between uh, Josh and I. Yes, I okay. am extremely competitive, and I will flip this table over if I lose, All if right. I can physically lift it. Tell All me right. the tell me the rules first, and I'll say whether or not I want to play. Uh, it's really complicated. It's okay. called two truths and a lie. Okay, I like All that. Right. That's so, one truth. We are playing this game. Correct. All right, you win. Uh, so uh, you win. I'm gonna read three headlines. Okay. This is how I do three. Okay. I've never yes. met anybody else who does three. Headlines. Okay. <laughs> three headlines. People oh, do I do it like this. Oh, sh- sorry. <laughs> okay. No, I just uh, can't count. Uh, something with my, you know, people do this. One, two. I can't get but it up. I can't. You can't get it up either? Nope. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. All know. right. So I'm going to read three Tony Hawk, headlines. Tony. Tony Hawk can. And two of these are true. Yeah. Okay. One of these are a lie. Good job. Yeah. Sin, as we call it. Yep. All right. Here we go. Uh, Florida woman arrested for allegedly kidnapping neighbor's two-year-old, refusing to return child to parent. Okay. Nobody. That's true. Because if you're going to lie about something, it'd be something more fun, not not toddler snatching. Can we guess now? God, if that's not the truth. But what do they call the twos? Aren't they like something? Uh, uh, like terrific. Tip- Terrific twos? Terrific twos. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. maybe that's why they want it. Yeah. That's why they wanted the kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Florida woman stops traffic in protest of Chick-fil-A being closed on Sundays. Uh, okay. 
Oh, see, the, I want that the to mythos, be. mythos, though. I uh, want it to be true. Yeah. But mm. my fear is that it is true, and then it just, like, serves to shame our state. Or shame Chick-fil-A for being closed on Sundays. Uh, yeah. Can I get an amen? But don't they, amen. Amen. Don't they have, like, the pizza? Didn't they come out with the Chick-fil-A pizza? Are I'm, you guys not on, dare like... You. On like uh, Snack Fred's Instagram. Hold on, time out. What if that that would that would be so controversial if Chick Fil A came up with like a shadow LLC to release <laughs> food on Sundays Whoa. to make money but pretend to be closed on Sundays? That'd yeah, be kind of sick. What do they call it? I don't know. Like, like Beef O Brady's. Possibly. <laughs> Wait, that's what do you, that's what do you think? <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <coughs> yeah, uh, all the Irish were over there. At Beef O'Brady's last True. Sunday, two yes. Sundays ago. Yeah, Boomers fed up oh, with Florida yeah. are moving to southern Appalachia, fueling a population spike in longtime rural communities. Okay. I just want to say, as a man that was born in Baton Rouge. Oh, that's right. Southern Appalachia. Louisiana. Yeah. Um, the Acadians came from southern Appalachia. Right. No way. Yeah. yeah. So I saw a documentary on so that. So in your face. Yeah, I saw the same one. Yeah, was so that I was watching it with my kids, but yeah. Yeah, well, I was watching it for uh, Sunday school. So that was clearly true. Possibly. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, if, I don't think so. Are we allowed to guess right now? Sure. Yeah, go for it. That one. <clears throat> Florida woman arrested for no. uh, stealing a two-year-old, not giving the two-year-old back. That's true. Florida woman stopping traffic in protest of Chick-fil-A being closed That's on Sunday. False. Where does she stop traffic, though? It didn't say. Uh, boomers false. fed up with Florida. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. Let's go. We got him. He's leaving the set. Because the drive through would before happen. He's so drive, upset. <laughs> the drive through wouldn't have traffic. Oh my god. All right. Because they're closed. Or Come on. Boomers no longer coming to Florida. Going Boomers to will do Appalachia. crazy stuff. Boomers gonna boom. Boomers gonna uh, amen. Yeah. Right, Come so on. What, I don't see them saying? moving out of the state. Chick fil A's false, I think. All right. Yeah. Chick fil A's false. Chick fil A's false. Oh wow. Whoa! Let's go. Let's no. go. <laughs> Can we just say, after 273 episodes, yep. your boys know headlines. you gotta yeah. flesh out the details of your. This life. is all this really is. I'm just seeing, are you legitimate yeah. Florida men? Can you sniff? A I'm turd? just gonna. I want to give a shout out. Uh, Deception Detective. Okay. He's a YouTuber. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he says, just liars don't make up a lot of details in their head because they don't know if they're going to be questioned about it. That and sounds boom, like a rap. Bam, bam, bam. That's what just happened here. Where did they stop traffic? I don't know that. That was you. Oh, wow. That was me. As soon as you <laughs> asked that, no, you're right. I should have said like um, A1A. You know, yeah, like anywhere. Any road you could have known. I, I think the yeah. reason why I thought that was false, honestly, yeah. honestly, is because most folks who are really in the Chick fil A, I don't think they would have the guts to like stop traffic. I picture you like a blonde mom. A hankering? Anybody's ever got a hankering strong enough to stop traffic? Not for Chick fil A. Huh. I, I, maybe Hooters. I've been, I've been close. Yeah. Not for a Hooters, for a Chick fil A. Really? Sure. Yeah. I just read that they're going to start using uh, antibiotic chicken, and that's why folks are boycotting them. Who so doesn't need those more are the antibiotics? Gentile chicken? <gasps> yeah, I, that's oh, what wow. I thought. It should make you healthier if you eat antibiotic chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have an ear infection, it yes. makes you healthier. Oh, it goes away. Right. Why not Why not clear an infection and enjoy a yummy sandwich at the same time? What was the sandwich time? What? I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, these headlines, now, Jamie, I can ask you this because you're a friend. Uh, yeah. Is there any, is there any, uh, did you bring anything besides the headline itself? Do you know what happened in the true ones? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> boomers are being fed up. With okay. Florida. How are they being fed up with Florida? Because. Traffic. No, not because. Well, probably. But, yeah. uh, well, they're the ones who caused the traffic problems. It is true. <laughs> Amen. Uh, no, yeah. boomers are being fed up because as they move to Florida. In fact, I just talked to someone about this the other day. Yeah. A boomer? There's, uh, yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, there's not just, it's not, it's not country enough anymore, which we here in Florida would be like, uh -huh. it's not what? Yeah. We, yeah. I would disagree. But Paradone? I don't know how country they need. So now they're moving to the Appalachians. Do they to, want to land get, to work? Is that what the modern boomer right. wants? I'll yeah. ask the next one. I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, but that, so that is the story on that one. Though. No, but my, I, I agree with you though because our, <laughs> our what we would call that like country in Florida compared to like Southern Appalachian yeah, was, country is two different things. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean, th there's still spirits that walk the land. I think yeah, the they're building whiskey stills, I moonshine farms. Yeah. Just take well, some pictures else? and you'll see it. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. So, and then the first one you oh. said a two-year-old was stolen. Um, huh. Why? What do you do? What do you do? What does yeah. that mean? 
What uh, I mean. What that mean was. Dang it, that's the phrase. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were trying uh, to throw a couple yeah. phrases in tonight. We're gonna shoehorn and I in can't that even phrase. get it correct. What do you do? What what that do? Yeah. Honestly, I didn't. I don't. I don't know that one. No, it's okay. I know you didn't. That's why I wanted to yeah. bring it. Up. <laughs> okay. Okay. So why would you steal a two year old? I have more. I have there. more two teachers than a life. Oh yeah. Well, let's go ahead then. Let's continue. Sorry. Oh, there's more to that. <laughs> yeah. No, I have three more or two more. Two wow. More. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know that. What we were doing was called filler. Yeah. What you're, what you're doing is called derailing. Sorry. I'm gonna cut all this out now. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you never cut a single thing. <laughs> out, just so you cut out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hold on a second. Ready? Jamie, do you have any more two truths and a lie? Oh, it's funny you asked that. Yes, All I right, do. All right, let's see. Oh, cool. Let's I'm get excited. into it. Okay. Floridians pay 121% more for car insurance than national average study Shh, finds. Don't get me started. I, I'm going to say that's low, actually. Really? I'm going to say it's I like could have made that number up. We all know it's higher. Yeah. Is the number right, though? I'm going to say it's true. Okay. I think okay. it is true. A uh, 68-year-old man recounts moment he was bitten by crocodile in Everglades. <laughs> That's just a sentence. <laughs> is that a story? <laughs> it's a headline. <laughs> this is the headline section, Josh. Back in my day. Yeah. It's just at any time or recently. I think like whenever he was like in elementary school. I, I'm just saying, I was bitten by a full-size bobcat. You don't see me making the news. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Last one. One of these hands. <clears throat> Florida child brings parents' sex toy into school for show and tell. I re- okay, that's true. That's true. Because the shape of those is unique when you're a child. Can I say this, though? But I there th- are so many different types and shapes. What shape are you referring to, Josh? Tell me the shape. Show Airdrop with your hand. Truncated uh, cone. A cone? A truncated cone. So it's cut off. Yeah, what are y'all buying? <laughs> are y'all not on the new releases I'm trying of figure, Adam I'm and trying Eve? to figure out what words I have to beep so I can <laughs> leave this whole conversation in. Um, That's so, why I said. So far, we're good. Uh, mine's the starfish. But I do think that... <laughs> hold on. I do think that the first story is... I, I, I want to change it. I think, I think he's trying to trick us. I think the first oh. story is false now. And I think the second and third are true. All right. That's Wayne. Josh. Huh. Second one is false. Okay, Jamie. The second one is was about the Everglades guy, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, the false story is about the child who brought the sex toy in. Oh, oh wow. That just came off my dome. You wrote that? I wrote that. You should be writing headlines wow. for Bay News 9. Thanks, guy. You yeah. shouldn't be here. Yeah. You they're, should be. They're poets, sir. Uh, yeah, I mean, worthy. dude. That's actually really good. I okay. Are, is it because it's great. a real life story for you? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Not yet. Okay, good. I keep we keep our toys on the roof. And <laughs> yeah. What shape and object? Yeah, and you have a grappling hook to come down. <laughs> it's not gonna happen tonight. I can't reach it. <laughs> I like the starfish though. Is that yeah. the one that pops open? Yeah, I don't remember. It, it closes. And last time I, I did it, it stuck to my face and I passed out. <laughs> oh, oh that's face? the suction one. Yeah, it's like oh. the the baby aliens from from that show, uh, Alien. You know? Yeah, my kids watch it. Yeah. No, that's you're thinking of a truncated um cone. Cone. <laughs> Golly. He won't let it die. He wants us to visualize it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to draw a picture later. Yeah. All right. Uh, last one. Okay. Um, toes sticking out of the ground. Human remains found in backyard of Florida home. Ooh. Wow, that's a solid headline. A solid headline. Because it grabs me with toes. I don't know. Right. Something about toes. Feet guy. The moment I, I hear get it. I get a feet guy. I perk up. Yep. Go ahead. Woof. All right. Uh, Florida dog saves owner <laughs> from drowning in kiddie pool. Okay, I can see that. Huh. And then how deep does a kiddie pool go? Three, two I, feet. I was gonna say two max. Well, we have a a, a larger budget for kiddie pools, so ours go three mm. feet. But I can see two feet yeah. being a normal thing. That's that podcast money. I get it. Yeah. Florida yeah. women raise money for animals by traveling over five hundred miles in child's toy car. Okay, I hope that's false, just because of just because there are other ways. Yeah, and they're just attention seeking at that point, aren't they? Well, I think that's I'm gonna be honest. Goal. I read all of these. I read all of these three, and I thought they'll raise did money. I write all of these. I couldn't remember. Which did I write all right of not. these? I couldn't wow. remember. We blow I couldn't your, remember yeah. if they were fake. We blow your yeah. head up and your ego up with that baby. And now mind. I'm just like, did I write all <laughs> of these? I'm a no, because all of these <laughs> seem so ridiculous. Okay. The one about like insurance, like okay, schmoring, right? Or a woman uh, captures kids, but these three are pretty wild. You know, insurance agents are our number one listeners. 
That's that the is a, occupation that is, of that is a demo on our show. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. just can you apologize? We go speak at State Farms uh, every other Thursday. At State Farms? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a noun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think the f- I think the one about the car traveling to raise awareness for kids or whatever that was is false. What were okay. the others? Um, all right. Oh, the toes is real. Uh, toes yeah. sticking out of the ground. Yeah. Human remains found in body yeah, of the backyard. Real. That's then too good. Florida dog saves owner from drowning in kiddie pool. I've uh, heard it before. Two, I B. saw it on Rescue Nine One One. I, I think yeah. that's real. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the yep. the virtue signaling last one. Let's say it's false. Wait, come again. What? Which one is false? The last one. The, the C. Kitty oh. car. Yeah. The, okay. B yeah. for me. You are a big winner. You got them all right. Let's go. Oh. Florida dog saves owner yes. from drowning in kitty pool is a lie. Yeah. Well, did you write that, though? I did write it. I like your, I like your I like spectrum your writing style. of writing style. Yeah. yeah. The toes one. I told you I'm related to Mark Twain. Okay. Well. Yeah. If you had written the toes one, <laughs> you keep I would that have up. believed it. I don't no. think it's doing f- what you think it's doing for your I'll character. I'll bring it up two more times <laughs> today. <laughs> The I, guy wrote a book that we couldn't read in school because of how many N-words were in I it. I used to yeah, think. <laughs> yeah, well, that was... A, I used to think uh, telling my English teacher was like that was a great idea yeah. until like I would turn in papers and get Fs on my papers. Yeah. I was like, it was a bad idea. Yeah, it didn't translate well. No, yeah. that's... They had a thing against Mark Twain. Mm. Dude, those are great, man. Oh, yeah, well, all right. I'm sorry for thinking that you only brought one set. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> hey, Hi, Josh. Josh. So I just learned about a thing called a birthing playlist on That's the right. internet, on Reddit. And then I mentioned it to you guys, and you guys said, That's funny. I got one. And it's Lumineers and uh, Mumford. And, and, then, and then Jamie, you said, um, WAP and Head Buses. <laughs> yeah. Never heard that yeah, second one. Yeah, a little one. scrappy. Uh, it's known to 2005. help a lady. Oh. Deliver. Yeah, 2005, deliver. Yeah. Uh, but what I really came for um, <laughs> is uh, what I've collected over the last three months since you've been on, three to six months. Yeah. Approximately. Uh, and it's what I call dead vice. I'm sorry? Dad vice. Dead vice? Dad vice. Dad vice. Yeah. Dad vice. It's a uh, onomatopoeia, I believe it's called. Right. Like like race car, it spells the same one way and the other way. Yeah, it's yeah. two <laughs> words yeah. mixed together. Yeah. Dad vice. Homonym? A Jamie? Ha- a hominium. Hominium. Uh, so I got a couple. Um, I've just made titles for these. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, and then you guys pick what you want to answer. Thanks. Scantily Dad. Yeah. Um, Harpoon Daddy. <laughs> Cane Drain, which you may recognize. Never heard of it. The Dad Hatter. Or Dad's Rack, She Shack, and a Winded Bro. Which I'll save for last. <coughs> is this like a Jeopardy? These are like Jeopardy these subjects. Are, I got a lot of questions in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, approximately five or Who's four. your audience? Like, who do you... Um... <laughs> Audio listeners. But I, I, that, <laughs> that narrows it down. Very literal. I, got, I can picture them. <laughs> Audio listeners. The Venn diagrams. Audio listeners and email havers. All right. Yeah. yeah. I choose then, Social Security. <laughs> They have a social security number. Yes. Can I choose Harpoon Daddy? Harpoon Daddy. Harpoon yeah. Daddy. You could if you went first, but our guest is here. Right, go ahead, Jamie. Can I take? <sighs> Don't do it. <laughs> I'll do Scantily Daddies. Scantily Daddies. Okay, Scantily Dad. It is. Huh. This is a. This is a long one. That's my boomer parents mm. moved in with me, and my family, in our bungalow. Okay. Uh, and now I'm noticing that my parents, specifically my dad, uh, has some weird quirks. Uh, not the like um, uh, proton neutron type of quirks. Of like, course, Jamie. I knew you were gonna yeah, get right, on that. Right, right, right. I watched a documentary um, on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> so now that we have to hang out a lot, um, I'm noticing these things. So my dad just retired. Uh, he was a Greek mythology professor. Okay, and. Um, he favors tidy whities uh, He still rocks them as most uh, men above 60 do. Okay. Uh, he knows about boxers, but he hates the button mm. on the front. The release. Yeah. He likes to say, if that failed, you'd be jailed. Does Mike Tyson have a button? Mike Tyson. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're thinking underwear. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hype it's, on it's the, the Jake Paul <laughs> on the Jake Paul shoot. thing. Yeah, it's free though. Right? Can we just go back to Netflix? can we that, watch it? If that failed, you'd be jailed. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> line. Yeah, because I think I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know visually. Yeah, for yeah. the Boop. for the for the cone. Yeah, the, yeah. Also, he's into boxing. Okay, sure. So that is. very relevant. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he does know about boxers, but he says there's a lot of security. In yeah. the tidy whities Yeah. He says, uh, if my body is Crete, uh, these undies are like a labyrinth. And you know what the labyrinth holds. Come on. The Minotaur. Wow. Every time you say labyrinth, though, all I can see is. I hate that guy, though. That was a girl. Was it? Yeah. Was it? The female. She held the eye. And Pan, Pan's so labyrinth. Binary. Yeah. No. Did it wow. say? You can it? see the mound. <clears throat> well, that's. Uh, thank you for. Thank you for that visual. Uh, no, I do know what you're talking about, though. So, uh, have you heard the term whale tail? What? What is that? God, in middle school, that was a glorified term. God, yeah. You're like, uh, can King's, I just get yeah. a whale tail? Oh, King's tail? Ransom. That's yeah. what I called it. The King's <laughs> What's this got to do with this guy's father? So, my dad, um, my dad, my oh dad tucks my his God. shirts into his undies. Oh, wow. I get it now. Um, and they just pull up his undies. Yeah. And he says, Yeah, but my shirt doesn't untuck, jabroni. Okay. Which is, I don't know. That's a weird, that's, I think, a rock record. It's a weird I thing so. for a father yeah. to say yeah. to a son. Yeah, yeah. So, he tucks his shirts into his undies. Yeah. yeah. And then he puts shorts on. Yeah. Yeah. And then I guess when he does his calisthenics. Right. Or praise and worship. Or praise and worship. The undies pull up above. Right. The short line. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And uh, he says, my dad's built like an upside down head of broccoli. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A big caboose. Is that, is, that a, is that like a Bush reference or a caboose I, reference? I'm not even sure what they're referencing. Yeah. Uh, or, a, or a traffic cone. Okay. Upside down. Everything rides up naturally. Yeah. Oh, what you okay. just described are two different shapes. Yeah. Well, upside down head of broccoli. How yeah. do you hold a head of broccoli? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. No, but how do you hold a head of broccoli? He yeah. Asked you a that's, question. that's the question in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. barely. Yeah. Just barely touch uh, it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so when he bike rides, it looks like he has a cape tied around his waist. <laughs> <laughs> what are my options here? All right. The way I see it, you've got Sandra. Sandra. <laughs> That's her name. I yeah. just I, yeah. yeah. So I, it is a girl I, yeah. writing this in. Yeah, a lady. Go ahead, Jamie. I'll let you take it. Cool. Thanks. Um, <laughs> so the way I see it, you got a couple options. Me. No, Sandra. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you could do this too for when you, you get, get there. 60. Yeah, when yeah. you get there, you get it before I do. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of years, not many. <laughs> um, <coughs> the shirts untuck it. Yes. Uh, grab your dad, untuck his shirt. No. <laughs> is that what you're saying? Okay. No. Oh, okay. Uh, if you ride any plane and you open up the on-flight magazine, uh-huh, there is yeah. a whole section for the untuckets. Okay. They're a shirt. Huh. You can't tuck them in. Oh. They're okay. too short. Oh. So if she uh, uh-huh. snuck in his closet. Yeah. Threw out all of his old shirts. Oh. Okay. No, not snip snip his Sorry. shirts. <laughs> Buy him some untuckets. Okay. Some uh, Cuban bowler shirts, maybe. Oh, like Guayabetas. Yeah, that's exactly what. It's that's like. where you're from. <laughs> Peru. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, I saw my shot. And one missed. side is from Cuba. The other side is related to Mark Twain. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Get there out it of is. here. Uh, okay. Okay. I got one more plug for the night. All right. Okay. And then uh, the second option yeah. is he can wear shirt, gar- shirt garters. They attach oh, to the top. Oh, of I'm your... familiar. <laughs> Are you? Oh, they atta- yeah. I wore them in ROTC. Uh, they attach to your, the top of your sock and mm-hmm. they clip to the bottom of your shirt. Yeah. Outside the panties. Yeah, but okay. bending the knee is uncomfortable. No. You you have a straight line of suspender. But he's he's sixty. He's not bending his knee. He's not. Come on. He doesn't bend the knee for anybody. No, he's in a lazy boy. Yeah, that's true. So your advice is to buy Paul Paul some crop tops, essentially, or <laughs> shirt garters. Yeah. Yeah. If he wants to keep him. You know, tucked in nice. Yeah, tight. that's true. That's a good. I love to see Daddy Belly, so I agree with this. Cool. <laughs> All right, next uh, <laughs> solid. There you go, Susan. Sandra. Susan. So we Sandra. got we got uh, the Dad Hatter, uh, Cane Drain. <coughs> oh no, we're on to you next. It, Scantily Dad. I wanted to do the um, Harpoon Daddy. Yeah, Harpoon Daddy. Let's see. Um, my dad. Okay. Not my dad. 
recently divorced, uh, is back in the dating scene. He, I'm trying to teach him how to dress and such, and he's now sold on the idea that he needs a differentiator, not Cuban streetwear, okay. but, but other clothing. Yes. Um, and now he's sold on the idea of wanting a harp. Okay. Uh, he wants to drop 100K of his retirement on a harp and harp lessons and a pickup artist. And he wants to be called the Harp Poon Daddy. Okay. How can I uh, sway him out of this <clears throat> lifestyle? The question, I think, isn't how do you sway him out of it, but should you? Right. Should you sway your dad from becoming a pickup artist <laughs> slash harp player? Let me let me point you towards, uh, what's this person's name? Uh, Doug. Doug, let me point you towards how this could have gone wrong. Uh, the harp could have been left out of the equation, and he's just called Poon Daddy. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> That's bad. Things could be way worse. You don't want to be related to someone. I mean, you know, Mark Twain. Yeah. yeah. His nickname was. <laughs> Boom, he got you. you. <laughs> reference, bro. Uh, Mark Twain's, uh, what, username was Poon Daddy. Yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. That was his writer handle, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But I'll say this, though, man. Someone wants to play the harp, right? This is yeah. a this is a, a quarter, uh, three-quarter life crisis, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, yeah. But this is a it. this is a crisis that blesses other people. He learns to play the harp. Wow! How many folks are going to come to faith or come to peace yeah. because of his harp playing? Yes, it's selfish, huh. but it benefits the people around him. As far as the poon portion of the name, that's a big portion. Everyone should. Everyone is. Jamie, will you say it? Allocated poon daddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just want to hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't even sound good coming out of Jamie's mouth, and he's good looking. Right. Uh, so, Doug, there you have it, man. <laughs> Thanks for writing in. My uh, my boomer dad got into a uh, a little three quarter crisis himself. Oh, bought yeah? himself a, a a steel drum. No way. Yes. Your wow. dad's Jamaican. Um. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 About as Jamaican <laughs> as Mark Twain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, did he buy it on a cruise or just like he uh, went to a local head? Probably show? Amazon. Yeah. Amazon steel yeah. drum, not quality. Though. No. No. Yeah. No. no. It's gone, by the way. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. He was busted right through it. Called um. Drum Daddy. Uh, yeah, that's okay. better. That's Thanks. way better than Harpoon Daddy. Uh, the Harp Daddy, Poon Daddy, Drum Daddy. Which one's real? Two truths and a lie. A Poon Daddy. Uh, Poon Daddy. You, the, can you read me the one that you said we had to save to last? Because I'm, I'm looking. Oh, that's um, Dad's <laughs> Rack, <laughs> Dad's <laughs> Rack, She Shack, and a Winded Bro. See, yeah. I'm just, no, I'm not saying go there now. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I'm, I'm really you excited about yeah. that one. Uh, so we have one that was brought up um, last time you okay. were with us. Cane Drain? Yeah, cane drain, and, and apparently they were not satisfied with your answer. Okay. Um, they said, hey, fellas, I've been recently diagnosed with leg problems. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and, and the doctors ordered me. Is it both legs or one leg? He doesn't want it's to say. It's plural. The like, doctor's like, you got leg problems. <laughs> yeah, I think it's two problems in one leg. Okay. That's yeah. a twofer. Yeah. I've seen that video. Yeah. Uh, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it says I, 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 I've been ordered to carry a cane and use a cane. Yeah. But I don't want the stigma of a cane. And I'm still looking for a cane. Um, okay. All y'all did what was is he looking for? a cane. Oh, got it. Yeah. All y'all did was tell me uh, that canes are cool and to get one with amber and a mosquito on top of it. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he said, I, I, I tried what Josh said and carried a tripod uh, around so people would think I'm a photographer. Yeah. But it didn't work out. Well, you're just used to having a tripod with you all the time. Yeah, I can fall forward and <laughs> I'm good. Can I just say, I don't know if any of this is true. Like, I don't know if we actually covered this <laughs> on last episode. We yeah. did. But we yeah. would we would say something about the amber and the mosquito. Yes. Like, that's 100% yeah. like a Josh reference. So I believe yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's y'all made it up. Oh, wow. Thank you. Um, What can this fella use instead of a cane that looks cool? He's a, okay. That's He's just a person? Yeah. No occupation. Okay. He doesn't work? Uh, uh, What's his, he called? What's his name? Uh, gutter. Gutter? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's hard on a resume to put gutter. Gutter the cripple. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he can't. What, what's a good object? And maybe I'll pull the room here. Yeah. I mean, what's the I've, best object. I've heard for a lot cane? of things about cones that. Oh, cones are hot right now. Well, like a traffic what's, cone. What's yeah. great about a cone. Yep. Yep. Is the top is just big enough for you to put your hand around. Yeah. Yep. Just like just like that. You can grip it. And yep. then the base is thick. 
And oh, that's you, true. You need a thick base for support. Yep. Okay. A cone so is you want good. Gutter to just like grip it, rip it with a traffic cone as he's walking down the street. People have done he's stranger not things get hit with by a car. True. Yeah. That orange, right? Yeah, and that's normally the danger of having a cane. I would say a ba- someone's I, sideswiping you. I would say an aluminum baseball bat. He walks around. People think oh. he's a player. Doesn't like, people are like? Oh, is that King Griffey Jr. or is that Gutter? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He's, like he's Italian. Uh, is yeah. he as Italian? Yeah. Oh, well, right. the bat. That's the oh. surname. True. Yeah. So I, I I say a baseball bat because then people are like, oh, that's a sports boy. He mm. he's a, he's clearly athletic. Okay. But he's yeah. got leg problems. Maybe he yeah. hurt his legs. He tore his meniscus right. uh, at shortstop or whatever yep. it's called. Yeah. 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 So I. But I, he's I, still attached to the game, just in case. You can't hold him. Yeah. Right. Put yeah. me. I, in I think they use wooden bats though in the pros. In the pros, they do. Yeah. I'm gonna use that socially a within bat? within the next week. I guarantee you. Like someone's gonna say, man, like you know, I'm gonna say I used to play X sport. Oh yeah, you don't play anymore? Nah, but I'm still attached to the game. Oh, okay. That's a great phrase, yeah. bro. X games is yeah. cool too. Oh, okay, uh, well, like, like you being a player. Like, right. you're not a player anymore, but you're still attached to the game. Thank you for saying that. You're welcome. Wow. Man. Uh, yeah, you I follow can... your socials. I know. I need all. I need all the confidence boosters <laughs> I can get, man. I really do. Last question. Um, Set the topic, please. <sighs> Dad's rack, she shack, and a winded burn. <laughs> Uh, I was really honored to get this one. Um, this one's from um, uh, Terry. <laughs> so thank you, Terry. <laughs> My mom. Hulk Hogan wrote in? <laughs> no. No. Oh. No, nah, just Terry. Okay. Okay. Uh, My mom and dad have a long history. Good. Together. Good for them, dude. Yeah. Rats. That's more, awesome. More than 20 years. Wow. Right? Five years ago, my dad built a man cave. Okay. Four years ago, my mom built a she shack. Mm-hmm. You guys familiar with sure. the terms? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now. Um, I've been to many a she shack. Yeah, you have. So now they have a long rivalry of one upping each other with yeah. their man cave. Oh, that sounds fun. And she shack. Yeah, they're in love. It's yeah, cool. Right. It's cool now. Uh, uh, so my mom started doing this no boys allowed thing. Right. Sure. Yeah. Total like uh, <laughs> yeah. Little rascals. Yeah. Little rascals. Like. Yeah. So my dad, what he did is he bought this um, silicone chest piece. I don't know if you've seen it. It has sleeves. It's silicone. You can wear it, and it gives you breasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It does. Silicone. Um, yeah. Chest. Yeah. What well, is that? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a shirt. Yeah. It's flesh toned. They sent me a picture. I can't show you guys. Okay. Uh, it's an audio the, podcast. The, the dad's wearing it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so my dad bought this thing, and his plan was to bypass the no boys allowed. Well, because he's a man. Yeah. He's I'll a sneak man. in. I see what he's doing. Sneak in. Yeah. To the she shack. So he dressed up like a woman. Okay. He put on his silicone chest piece. I see where this is going. Yeah. Problem is, um, he has a penis. <laughs> yeah, and there's a penis inspection at the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every every good she yeah. shack's got one. <laughs> yeah, that's why you've yeah. been to so many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but where you let in uh, yeah. every single time? Every oh, time. Well, that's the yeah, 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 every yeah. time. So my mom had her annual book club. It happens once a year. <laughs> um, and he decides to wear this uh, silicone chest piece. Um, the problem is he didn't use baby powder as they recommend to slide the chest piece on. No, and off. yeah, yeah. He used flour. Mm. Uh, and uh, if anybody Very knows yeasty. anything about crafts, which he would have learned if he would have got let in the she shack, mm-hmm. right? Um, a little bit of water, a little bit of flour, a little bit of salt, like yeah. sweat has, and you create a nice glue. Oh mm. no, it yeah. got stuck on like Caesar's armor. Yeah, exactly like Caesar's armor, fellas. Before I tell you how I got it off. Uh, he, uh, he, he, we want to know me and my family, uh, Terry's family, Terry's family, mm-hmm. yeah. how you guys would get it off. Okay. How would we get your dad's fake breast off? Well, if you had, if you were wearing a, a silicone oh, I, chest piece, how or, would I, or if how my would dad I, showed up and asked for help, how would I get off if I was I wearing, said, yeah. How would you get off? Get it off? Yeah. I said it. What'd you say? First things first, you're standing in front of a mirror. Okay. Can I say that? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, and, and, uh, and he didn't get let in. It wasn't oh. enough. Yeah, because the penis is back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he covered the wrong part. <laughs> yeah, Terry's dad. Yeah, book club. You is gotta, really, you gotta tuck it. You yeah, gotta tuck it. Yeah, Nantucket. 
Um, I, I let me say this, man. Uh, if yeah. I were wearing a chess piece that got somehow stuck to me because of this just fluke accident of, of flower, water, and sweat, uh, um, yeah, just the, flower, sweat. The first thing I would do, man, I think is uh, call my friends, people that I love, people that I trust. Yeah, what would you say to them? I'm uh, trying to get my wife she shack. Yeah, I'm trying to get my wife she shack. It's her annual book club. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a thick book. They can only read it. Yeah. You know, it takes yeah. a year to read it. Yeah. Uh, they're reading the Torah, and, cool. uh, and I need you to help me get. I, I tried to sneak in. I couldn't help me get this breastplate off. Yeah. Uh, once all my loved ones come around. Yeah. Oh, I, also, <clears throat> he wants to return it, so it can't okay. be destroyed. I'm sorry. I just read the. Um, well, there went my it answer. It was below yeah. the signature. I was going to have my friends claw through it, so now I oh, can't even okay. give my yeah. answer. Uh, Jamie, your turn. Um. I I would probably show up uh, to the Florida Man on Florida Man podcast recording. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah, and and um, I would say, hey, who, who wants a feel? The only oh, thing that would make me more attractive, I'm going to say this. Yeah, and this you know is there's a room full of gropers. I'm, I'm sitting in between. Oh, the head gropers. Yeah, head yeah. gropers. Can I can can I just say, <laughs> kings of grope. I'm so talking about. This yeah. not okay. Anyway. Yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? I was just gonna say the Sorry. only thing that would make you more attractive is breast. Thank you. Can I've I been, say that? Yeah, no, I've, no, I've, I've said that. that I've all. said that for years. Thank you. No. Uh, and Jamie, uh, if and for myself included, if yeah. I were stuck in a breastplate situation like this, I yeah. would take photos before trying anything. Right. Just for my okay. own keepsake. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for myself. Uh, but huh. can, can you say? I know. I hope you have this information, John. I've got the answer. How did Terry get it <laughs> yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, we want to. Oh know. yeah, How well, Terry, uh, Terry buried it in the title on his. Oh, I thought you said buried it like buried, buried, the, buried his uh, the answer. Dad's wreck, she shack, and a winded bro. A winded bro. Uh, winded so bro. we got the um, leaf blower, stuck it up the belly of the shirt. What would be the area. torso? Right. <laughs> No. Loosened it and then he just, just wiggled his way out. That thing yeah, right this is some okay. Now Josh will do this M Night Shyamalan bit where right. like the answers in front of us all along. the whole the time. time. Yeah, the whole time, yeah. man. Yeah. Now, when and I, if and if anybody is really wise, when we said Florida at the entrance of the show, I said leaf blower. What the crap? Dang, yeah, I was there the whole time. God, you're a Waldo. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Terry, I'll I'll tell her. Thanks. Hello, um, we're back uh, with Jamie, and uh, we spent the entire ad break looking at silicone pieces. That jo- oh god, Josh keeps pulling them up. <laughs> That's a proof. He keeps pulling them up and showing us Amazon. silicone chess pieces. Yeah, that was a mission strip. I went our- <laughs> but that's a Peruvian one. <laughs> that's a Peruvian <laughs> yeah. one for sure. Uh, we got a, we've got an ending bit here. Um, that's a kind of a twofer. We discovered Jamie and I that we both have great 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 family members who were governors of Florida. Amen. Um, and so. And and this is all true, by the way. Um, uh, this is not like a bit, as in like we're making this up. Two we, truths and a lie. Uh, yeah, no. Oh wow. We we both have family members who were governors of Florida, um, which okay. is part of Jamie's appeal. Um, is it? Well, we say that you are attractive, but also you have family members who are in politics. Uh, royal blood. Yeah. Royal blood. Yeah. A yeah. Floridian yeah. royal blood. Yeah. Um, I felt and it. So my um, great 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 uncle, uh, a man named Daniel T. McCarty, um, hmm. was governor of Florida. And um, Jamie, who was your governor uh, that you had in your family? Doyle Carlton, uh, Governor Doyle Carlton. Yeah, he's the twenty fifth governor. And the reason it's Carlton and not Clemens, yeah, is I was gonna ask. thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Clemens married into the Carltons. Oh, okay. So, so you're not you know, OG. Well, I mean, if you just nullify that it's from the mother's side, sure. Oh, the mother's side. Then I'm I'm for it. He's for it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love a strong matriarch. Thank Come you. on. Yeah. Well, here's what we decided to do. Um, as we're having this conversation on the telephone, we were like, well, huh, who, who... You guys called each other? <clears throat> yeah, to plan this bit. It oh, was okay. essentially cool. whose dad could beat up whose dad, right? Like, yeah. my governor's better than your governor. And we got into this discussion, and we said, why don't we save it for the show? We'll bring our case. We'll bring the bio of of our pawpaw governors, mm-hmm. yeah. and then let Josh decide who had the better pawpaw governor. Yeah. Wow. I like this because I recently signed up to be a mock jury member. Oh, wow. Did yeah. you make fun of jurors? Yeah. I just go, are you wearing that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You sure? You yeah. take this serious? Yeah. Yeah. But then got excluded. So you get to decide, Josh. It's in your Finally. hands, man. Uh, which one of our governors in our families was the better, what are we saying? Human, better governor, better, you know, just, I guess, overall, the yeah. better one. 
Uh, Jamie, I'll let you go I first. I mean, I'll be the judge. <clears throat> That's right. He, he'll be I the judge. I thought you were going first. You, you want me to go first? I'll go first. You want me to? You said, okay. No, I'll go first. You said somebody go first. You go first. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. That was stressful. Uh, all right. Uh, Doyle Carlton. I like the name. Thanks. Yep. Dang it. <laughs> yep. It's already ahead of my direction. All right. Doyle was born. This Florida man was born July 6th, 1885. Okay. Although his birth year is kind of uh, contested. It might I'm be also July birthday. 1887. Well, this sucks. But we're going to say it's 1885. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he was born in good old Wachula, Florida. I'm familiar with Wachula. I had a stepdad, one of five, um, from Wachula. <laughs> we, he took me to the Pioneer Restaurant. Let me talk about it for a while. And uh, he made me spears. At a palm meadows, yeah, and then he threw dried cow poo at me. Yeah, sounds like and a I great dodged dad. it. That's why I don't stink today. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's a great story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, he grew up in Washington, Florida, yeah. where grade school ended right at high school, and then there was no high school to go to. Uh, hmm. So he had to go a to riddle. a private. <laughs> Not so cool now, huh, Josh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, so he had to go to a private academy to finish his education at yeah. Stetson. So Stetson University also had a preparatory school, which is where he went. Uh, he entered Stetson as a student yeah. uh, in its college preparatory academy in 1902. Mm-hmm. Graduated from the academy in 05, and then from Stetson University in 09 with a Bachelor of Arts. Went to Chicago University, also graduated with a Bachelor of Arts. Then he went to Columbia University, and in 1912, graduated with his law degree. Smart guy. You lost me in the middle. I know. (laughs) Yeah. But I'm for it. Cool. Cool. Me too. Uh, His political career began in 1916 when he was elected to the Florida State Senate at age 31. That's a good What were you doing at 31? 31 dancing privately. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. With cones. That's when I had the best bottom of my life. Uh, He was in for a two-year term as a state senator of the 11th district composed of Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. Uh, He was a leader in formulating a highway building program, the campaign campaign to ratify the constitutional amendment for women's suffrage, Hmm. and induced and secured passage for the first Florida legislation for free school textbooks. I guess kids were paying for textbooks before that. That's wild, actually. Uh, These achievements and his growing civic reputation in Tampa encouraged Carlton to run for governor in 1928. He won the Democratic primary and beat his Republican opponent in the general election. So he's a Democrat. Good uh, for him. Good wow. for him. Well, well, wow. Well. Wow. Now, some people Points. may go women's suffrage. Well, that means. <laughs> <laughs> like they want women to suffer? No. Oh, okay. It's the silicone... <laughs> it's definitely they, not. They can't get it up. <laughs> uh, when Carlton entered office in January 1929, Florida was an, an, in an economic crisis that had been going on long before the onset of the Great Depression, yes. which occurred later that year. The bust of the Florida land boom and the horrendous impact of hurricanes in 1926 and 1928 you have my attention. devastated the lives and livelihoods of countless Floridians. Yeah. Mm. Sad. Uh, this string of disasters continued in early months and plagued the country, along with the Mediterranean fruit flies infested. And we were just talking about the Mediterranean fruit flies. The documentary. Right. Yeah. yeah. When that happened, Whew. that was bad. Like the yogurt's good, but the fruit flies are bad. The fruit flies are bad. And we've always said that. Carlton also had to address the terrible conditions of the state finances due to a large deficit from previous road projects. Mm. Carlton tried to solve the fiscal crisis by cutting government spending. He laid off state workers, reduced salaries, including his own. How much do you think in 1930 a governor's making as an annual salary? $12. That's a great question. Annual salary. I'm going to say $188. Annual salary? $188? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant weekly. No. Uh, I'm going to say $32,000. I'm going to say $3,300. Okay. Both of you are wrong. You were closer. He cut his salary from $9,000 a year. To seventy five hundred thousand, seventy five hundred. Huh. Your papa was Sorry. poor. That sucks. <laughs> yeah, that man poor. Um, yeah. Which I like. Yeah. Well I, well, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of money back then. Oh, he's rich. 
pizza, limousine pizza liberal. Pizza. Huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like Mark Twain. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so he did lots of other great things. Uh, I know this is coming from the heart, and like you're not reading it, which is impressive. Right. Um, <laughs> and I just want to say thank you. You're welcome. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he well, <coughs> got me in my head. Okay, Josh. sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Out of your head. Get me out of my head. Um, but he uh, he built dikes around Lake Okeechobee. He built more roads, helped women suffer less. Um, and then well, he basically means- said... He claims that he prevented uh, Florida schools from collapsing at the end of his uh, well, turn. Thank God, because thank- earthquakes or what? I'm just playing. The- yeah, earthquakes are a dime a dozen. Yeah. And so after his govern- gub- gub- gubernatorial, I like yes. it. I like when the bees in there. Thanks. Uh, in 1947, uh, Doyle was special attorney for the Florida State uh, in settlement, which brought to the state ownership the a man Ringling of the People Museum of Sarasota. So he was responsible for helping bring that here. Cool. And then President Eisenhower, what year was Eisenhower president? 40-ish, nine. Yep, 57. In 1957... Well, you, you add 10 to everything. Everything. Uh, Eisenhower appointed him to the Federal Civil Rights Commission. Oh, my goodness. And he served until 61 under President Kennedy. Ugh. He was also a member of the National Agriculture Advisory Commission. In Wait, I don't think you even have to go here because... Well, and that's it. But I'm done. But that's all of it. (laughs) Is he still alive? Huh? Uh, Oh, this could be a mark against him. No, he's passed. Well, okay. Yeah, let's see where. uh, Well, someone's papa died. It looks like. Yeah, he died in '72. Okay. Oh, '72 is a good year though. Yeah. Yeah. Gummit. Mm -hmm. All right. So your governor uh, sounds pretty cool, Jamie. Thanks. Your papa sounds really cool. Yeah. What he did for those poor kids in their textbooks. Um. And keeping like schools that. strong, <laughs> and cutting his own money, so they like wouldn't an collapse. Idiot. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, the elitism. Daniel McCarty was born on January eighteenth, nineteen twelve, in Fort Pierce, Florida. And can I just say, he has not, the power of your name. Which he is has the power good. of my name, but not as cool as Wachula. I will. I'll give him that. Wachula is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, Fort Pierce. Who cares? Um, huh. I'm a big Fort Pierce fan. Yeah, Overwatch. Speaking, you okay, well, <laughs> uh, Dan McCarty's papa um, was a man named Tobin McCarty, who oh, grew wow. up uh, who grew up uh, making pineapples, uh-huh. like growing pineapples. He made pineapples <laughs> like from nothing from his hands. He conjured them. Oh my gosh! Uh, sadly, <laughs> Go though, on. this has nothing to do with Dan McCarty's go- <laughs> governor. Yeah, uh, ship, uh-huh. but his papa Tobin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was killed by a, in a barber shop. Oh yeah! In what historians call a real estate dispute by a man who was unhappy that the McCarty pineapple farm had grown onto his property. Mm. I just want to add that in there that my pawpaw governor huh. suffered hurt and loss because his pawpaw was murdered in a pineapple mm. dispute. So, I'm a th- big fan of pineapples, though. <clears throat> right. Upside down pineapples. I like the whip one. The Dole whipped. Yeah. Uh, Daniel McCarty, motivated by his grandfather's. I death. don't like Dole though. <laughs> Okay, we'll just whip pineapples. No, you know, Bob like Dole. Bob Dole. <laughs> yeah, yeah good. You. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so strike against you. Daniel just... McCarty, uh, <laughs> motivated by his grandfather's death, joined the U.S. Army, and then he was sent overseas shortly after. Killing Nazis. To fight in World War II. Oh. Um, uh, and so during World War II, he served in the U.S. Army. He was promoted to the rank of colonel, and he was decorated with the Bronze Star Medal, the Purple Heart, and the Legion of Merit. Mm. Um, huh. Obviously, very strong and handsome. Him there are clearly. two above the bronze. I'm not against you. <clears throat> right. You're thinking of the silver and the gold star? That's it. Bingo. Uh, the silver star hadn't been invented yet, and the gold star was only for presidents. So that's why he didn't get that. Good um, to know. Don't Thank look it up. You. Yeah. Uh, I won't. <laughs> after re- don't look it up. After returning from the war, he served in Florida House, the Florida House of Representatives, where he was elected speaker in the 1940s. And in 1948, he was the runner-up for the Democratic nomination for governor, and then four years later, in 1952, he ran for governor again, and this time as a Democrat also. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, I like that. He successfully won office. Now, during his tenure, he reformed purchasing and hiring practices by the state government. He okay. boosted teacher salaries, and he created scholarships for teacher training, and he opposed oil exploration in the Everglades and instituted hmm. aid programs for the disabled, like our friend Gutter. Oh, man. So wait, so oh, teacher wow. salaries haven't gone up since your papa 
Well, Probably that's not really his work. fault, and let me tell yeah. you why. Okay. <clears throat> he was a chain smoker. <laughs> that's the reason Teacher's salary hasn't gone up? And he <laughs> he was only governor for eight months because he died in office. <laughs> because of the smoking? Or like he gave his all? No, that and sucking <laughs> off midgets. Yeah. Oh, well. What? I don't <laughs> Is that true? No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Is that true? It was never proven. It was never proven Hold on. to be true. Which one did the Ringling Circus Museum? Uh, mm. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, no. my, my <laughs> Paul governor was only governor for eight months. Yeah. Uh, because he died in office. He had a heart okay. attack. He survived the heart attack yeah. and then died from pneumonia, um, which you know, claimed him as a Are they connected? Worker. I'm really sorry. Uh, I, here yeah. it was. Um, so uh, my bio is shorter. Yeah. Um, than Jamie's because my papa had less. He did a lot in eight months, though. Thank you for saying that. Wow. He did a lot in eight months. Um, hmm. But he also, as a sign of weakness, a, gr- a sign of great weakness, died. Um, yeah, who does that? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I again, I don't want to root for my own papa. Yeah. Um, so I've got a pneumonia beat him. Pneumonia beat him. Sounds like a quitter to me. So Josh, what is yeah. your verdict, well, man? Who uh, had the best papa governor? Both yeah. blood related. To these people, yes, yes, by by relation and by blood oath, as in blood oath, right? Okay, each generation. Um, I'm a big fan of women. Okay, and your guy did what? Women. <laughs> and then Jamie, your guy did men. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I don't have anywhere to go from here. Uh, so who wins? <laughs> Jamie wins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, Jamie's. It just reminds me of a documentary I saw. Yeah, Jamie's gay grandpa. <laughs> uh, oh god. Uh, uh, episode two seventy three. Got a lot of edits to make. Oh uh, yeah, we sure do. <laughs> Maybe one. Yeah, yeah, one or two. Yeah, it'll come out uh, yeah. perfectly fine. Jamie, how's it feel, man? To be back uh, in the third seat, better than ever. God, I was nervous all day. You been, you look like you're crying. Uh, dude, I cry at slight breeze. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. Well, can I say this, dude? Last time you were on, we did we, we were in the middle of doing this bit where we would cut off our guests at the end. Yeah. We thought it was funny. Yeah. We're not going to do that now. I didn't personally Thanks. think it was funny. Josh never thought I it was funny. I went along with it. Yeah, I thought I'm it was funny. More of a number two. Well, you no. Know, uh, but we <laughs> want to say, man, honestly, we, we said this, and this is true about you today. We said the, the fun thing about Jamie coming on is yeah. we know we're going to have a blast. And it just removes a lot of the pressure because it's like, oh, like 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 Jamie's coming on, it's gonna go great yeah. no matter what we do. And so you free us up to do to be um, ourselves, to be ourselves, and mm. have fun, and and to write bits that you know may be a little risky, or as some would say, risque. Right. Um, yeah. So, Cafe risque. Yeah. So thank you for that, man. Yeah, dude, it's a blast to be here. Thanks for having me back again. I um, I promised myself that I wouldn't sleep. Like so, the last time that I left, I promised myself I wouldn't sleep until I was invited back on the show. Oh my gosh, that's why Holy you look like this. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well That's done, it. Man. Oh god. Uh, <coughs> I kept getting the worst messages from Oh my god. These guys over here. They told me to slowly stream.